The way I define self-compassion in its most simple terms, kind of the one that's easiest to understand, is treating yourself with the same kindness, care, understanding that you would show to a close friend. Okay, and so if you think about it, we're often at our best with our close friends. By the way, we aren't always at our best with strangers or out-group out members or our nearest and dearest, but usually most of us have really good friends that we care about, and when they come to us and they're struggling in some way, we know how to be supportive, we know how to be understanding, we know how to help them through a difficult time. So basically what self-compassion is, is treating ourselves the same way when we're struggling, okay? So that's the more informal definition of self-compassion. But um, when I decided, um, I, I did get a real job at, at University of Texas at Austin, and I decided I wanted to uh, do research on self-compassion. So I came up with a more op a formal operational definition and I created a scale to measure it. Uh, and again, so from my point of view, self-compassion entails three main elements that all have to be there in order for it to be true self-compassion. And that is a mindfulness, common humanity, and kindness. 